Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Rodney. I hope you're doing well. Happy Friday. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you my packing process. This is going to be my last video about my neon signs. I just wanted to show you the process because I thought it was pretty satisfying and fun and cute to watch. So every time I get a sale, I come downstairs and I remove a sign from the bulk box that they shipped to me and i do a little quick quality control test i test all of the different modes and see if she works and how bright she gets and stuff then i take one of my custom made shipping boxes i remove all of the foam all of the different cutouts and stuff and then i stuff her in there and it's a really snug fit it's super tight and like you know sturdy <laughs> so that way she doesn't move around during shipping it's really it's really cool and satisfying how she fits in there but yeah, then I take the little AC adapter and I make sure everything is nice and neat and in place. And I sprinkle some black, white, and gray hearts to fit the theme. Then I take a microfiber cleaning cloth and a pink satin bag and the business card. And I clean the business card first. I didn't show it here, but I clean it first and test it out. Sometimes I'll charge them before shipping out so that way they can work on arrival. But test that out put it in the little foam thing and I wanted to make sure that everything was flat enough to fit in the shipping box without like intruding on anything so here I am just setting it there sorry if you can hear my laptop fans spinning I mean it's I can click the smallest pixel and it's gonna just go haywire I don't know I gotta get a new laptop but yeah I had these custom tissue papers made it's so beautiful it's made by a company called Pacola and I like to apply the tissue paper to the top protective layer of foam and I also add some black tissue paper at the top and bottom and here it is so yeah this is going to keep everything sandwiched together it's going to make sure everything's protected during shipping and i thought it was really cool to open her up and that be the first thing that you see so now i'm putting the business card and microfiber cleaning cloth on top of the user manual and that'll be there for when you need it so now it's time to print the shipping label i love this part it's so satisfying i mean the whole process is satisfying in my opinion but yeah i got this little machine it's pink i want to get like a blue one or a black one as well <laughs> just for the heck of it you can print out the shipping label you can print out you can even print pictures but they'll be black and white and it's funny because this is actually like an inkless printer it's really fun and convenient to use so yeah now i'm going to go ahead and sandwich everything together and <laughs> seal the box up thankfully they already came with the fragile stickers on the front and back and now this is another part that i find really fascinating i watched like 50 videos on it before i got all of the equipment but yeah this is called like a, a hand ratchet clink uh i just made that up <laughs> i just completely made that up wait let me see what it's actually called this tool is called a strapping tensioner and yeah like i said i did a lot of research on it but i guess i just didn't remember the name i got these pink straps from a company online and it was so hard to find this color i mean i don't know maybe they assume only like men are shipping products out and stuff but it's so hard to find like pink equipment and pink shipping and packing things all together it is what it is i'm surprised i found the pink printer but yeah i had to do a lot of research and i experienced a lot of trial and error trying to get all of the measurements and things correct because you can't use this tool with just like any width of cords i mean it's just so much but i loved every part of it and it was really cool to get a chance to experience like how these things are done i had the idea of using a rainbow ribbon my voice is so raspy oh my gosh i use the rainbow ribbon for the top strap and uh yeah i thought oh my gosh my voice what's going on i run la i run la sorry i had to <laughs> But yes, that is the complete process of how I pack and ship all of my orders. Like I said, it's a really fun process and I hope that you guys can get a chance to experience the unboxing. This is going to be the last video about it for a while. I have so many video ideas, like it's not even funny, like I have so many exciting videos coming up. So I wanted to kind of close this off and leave it where it is. And um, yes, I, I might go live on whatnot in a few days so that way I can sell a little, uh, some more of them. I have two of these left for the time being but yes that's gonna do it for this video thank you so much for watching and thank you everyone who put in an order this was such a fun thing to do and i think ultimately that's what i was seeking whenever i developed this product i just want to have fun with whatever i do i i'm definitely going to use this design in the future 
so we'll see what's coming up next but right now i just want to film some videos and really just have my fun with my dolls again so yes stay tuned for those videos um i love you guys and i will see you very soon bye